welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I'm a stay-at-home mom of two young kids and I'm so happy that you stopped by today. Uh, I'm sure as you notice that I am in my car on my way to do some things and uh, no offense to you guys but I really just wanted to get on and um, take this morning time to chat. Okay, so sorry about that. Um, I thought I had my camera like securely attached to my car, but I uh, guess I didn't. So anyways, what I was saying was I kind of decided a little later today after I woke up that maybe I wanted to vlog today. So I'm kind of already ready for the day. And you know, you miss that whole like get ready with me that I really like to do. But um, I figure better late than never. So plans for today are I need to run into the hospital and get some blood work. We want to check my iron levels to see if I can stay on the iron pills or if I need to go to um, hematology and start like iron transfusions and stuff like that. So I'm going to run in and I'm going to get that checked out. And then I want to go to Aldi and get my grocery shopping done for the week. Oh no, that's a lie. I was going to say I was going to try to like just go to Aldi, but I know that Noah wants um, name brand bagels, so I'll be stopping at a local grocery store called Bueller's, and I'll be getting some of the name brand things that we want there. I get tired of doing blood work. I don't really wanna do this. It's kinda of throwing off my vibe because I really like my Friday mornings because I go grocery shopping by myself usually. Sometimes I get a Starbucks coffee, whatever. It's throwing off my groove because I have to go get blood work. Oh, dang it. I wanted to bring my AirPods too because I'm sure that I'm going to be waiting a long time because I didn't like bust out the door to get here. So, <sighs>
um, I just got home from doing all of the blood work and going to Bueller's and Aldi. Got all the groceries put away. I was able to get my grocery haul recorded and I'm so proud of myself. I actually kept the receipts this time and every time I make my grocery haul, I end up making it way more complicated than I have to because I never save my receipt. So then I have to like log into my bank account and I have like extra security on it. So uh, it always takes like five minutes to just <laughs> log into my bank account. And then I have to see what I purchased and if I did multiple per, you know, it's annoying. So I am proud of myself for remembering today. And honestly, I really love these Squishmallows. They feel super similar to like an actual Squishmallow. And I think a Squishmallow of this size um, is at least like $20, right? So pretty happy with that. I like to sleep with Squishmallows. And honestly, this rainbow one, get out of here. That's so cute. So I think we wanted, there was like a new park that was just built at one of the nature reserves that we live pretty close to. And we also wanted to go out and get some like fancy coffee and stuff. So hopefully we're gonna be doing some like interesting things. I really wanna make that lemon delight today. And I also want to get my produce prepped. I just find I eat it like way more if I actually take the time to prep it. Hope you guys don't mind that I'm literally just like resting and chilling, chit chatting. Ooh. I remembered that I wanted to check like my medical stuff. It's really fast. Okay, here we go. Let's look at my iron results. Let's see. <laughs> For my like iron results, basically I have two numbers that are still intensely low. And then one number that's like off the charts high. So that's a little bit of a bummer, but I'm not too shocked by it. It just means that I have to take more effort to like fix this up, which I was hoping that I could just stay on the easy track, but it doesn't look like that's gonna be the case. So yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I'll take you guys along.
So I just got done editing my uh, what's for dinner that went up on Saturday and I was going to start editing the grocery haul that was supposed to go up on Tuesday and I moved the footage into a folder that I just created for that haul and all of my footage for it disappeared. So that's a big bummer, like being in that moment right now. Silver lining, I get to make my first community post. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so sorry, it was a really awesome haul and I'm super bummed out that I lost all of the footage for it. Dang, Aldi was so cool this week. I got some really nice things and it was a really good price too. I also didn't get pickles. And I like the headband that I was wearing today. <sighs> Bummer. Anyways, so. Hello. Good morning. Uh, it is the next day. It's Saturday now. I'm starting to open everything up for the morning. I'm gonna take you guys along with me for that. We still need to do like the dishwasher. Going around and opening up all the blinds. I like to get the light coming in as soon as possible. Woo, all up on my face. Yeah, it's supposed to be like uh, 80 or so degrees today and not rainy for the first time in like forever. So I'm hoping that we can do something fun. <coughs> Yesterday mostly just turned into a work day. Blood work, grocery shopping, filming the grocery haul and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just start cranking out this morning routine as a requested waffles, or no, sprinkle pancakes, so let's get started. Sure. 
playing outside and I thought I would show you this really cool app. I made like a screen recording of it. I don't know if I'm going to like actually put it in my video here, but um, it's called Seek. And I want to find out what this flower is. There's a like pain relieving herb or weed. No, it's red dead nettle. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. My, my sink calls it uh, ground ivy. Similar species are ground ivy. Oh, I totally forgot I was filming. Uh, yeah, so this is red dead nettle and I found this right in my front yard and I'm pretty sure this has a lot of like pain relieving properties if you like mortar and pestle it. Very pro science. I love science. But I just think that there's also some value with holistic properties and I do think that there is quite a lot that we can learn from how we used to treat illnesses. I don't think it makes it invalid just because we found better ways along the way to treat serious illnesses. So let's look up red dead nettle. But yeah, um, apparently it helps with allergies and pain and cuts. So I'm probably gonna make that into a tincture later. Hello. <laughs> Good somewhat morning. It is Sunday and um, I'm definitely going to be closing the vlog out today because it is, uh, you know, a weekend with us. So I'm not too sure if we're going to get into anything too exciting today. We did a whole bunch yesterday and we're probably going to be really low key today. Right now we're just kind of outside and um, Playing with some scooters, riding some bikes, doing some chalk things. Want to keep it nice and clean, not freak out and cause a scene. I try to hold it together, keep it together, not show who I really am. And super bland. I try to hold it together, keep it together. Been playing it down, but I'm so getting tired. Now, won't you meet high? Cause I've been feeling, feeling that like crazy, and I need to lose control. So, baby, put the record on, baby, put the record on. Hit it. And I've been needing, needing that like crazy, and I gotta let. So baby, put the record. 
How's it going? Um, not too much going on. I'm always like really uh, curious if people like these random little talk-ins or if you would just rather see like kind of an unscripted life to some music and maybe a little bit of commentary. Uh, I like both. So I also wanted to show these off real quick. I'm gonna do this today. So I'll have these linked down below where I bought these from. And um, yeah, so right here, it says that it is a pollinator partnership. So this is really good for bees and wildlife and your region's like specific ecosystem. So, you know, instead of doing like big exotic flower beds this year, consider just throwing these around your garden. Things aren't really gonna change without some radical changes on our parts. I don't think anybody has to be miserable, but I think that we need to start taking some responsibility for helping things get better. So yeah, I encourage you this year to go ahead, check out this link, buy a big bag of local pollinator wildflower mixture and um, I can spend $20 on this and this will help my little part of the world. I just like to think that we wouldn't walk through our physical homes with muddy shoes and throwing trash everywhere and ripping out our plumbing because it's not aesthetic and things like that. We wouldn't do that. We would realize that we need those things and that it's valuable to take care of the things in our home. And this is also our home. Hey friends, so 
I know you guys already know that I lost my grocery haul and I thought it would just be kind of fun to maybe show you low key some of the things that I bought. They're already in their place like in the fridge and stuff. They might even be open like these lemon cookies. But um, yeah, so I just thought I would show you some of the cool things that I got from Aldi since my entire haul was lost. <laughs> um, I just tried one, they're pretty okay. I'd give it like a five or six out of 10. Absolutely in love with this oil diffuser. Here's the design on the front and it honestly smells really great too. And I think this was like $6. So super in love with this. I bought these little plant babies at Bueller's. This is just some rosemary and this is lemon thyme. I got pickles, lots of pickles. I got strawberries. They were super cheap this week. A dollar seventy, I think, per huge package. I got this. Obviously haven't eaten it yet. Super excited to try it. I got some of this fancy yogurt that I see my friend Taylor eating all the time. Uh, so yeah, I had to try that finally. Eat the rice pudding. If you don't get this from Aldi, you are sleeping on it. These are ultra delicious, like ultra super mega delicious. Definitely give the key lime crunch a try. Uh, it's frozen, but I am finally trying the Irish butter that you guys have recommended from Aldi that is cheaper than Kerrygold. I ha am currently using an unfrozen block and I do like it, so the price is a lot better on it. Um, they had literally just Funfetti Aldi brand pancakes and the kids are loving these for a fun breakfast. We love these. Sometimes we'll make these for just a very quick um, appetizer dinner when nobody really feels like eating anything big. Oh yeah, there's a drawer of greens too. Don't worry, there's vegetables and stuff. I also got some of the Aldi pajamas and I also got the Aldi socks, but the kids already took those. It's later. The day is basically done. We have made our snack to munch on the rest of the night, which is some jelly toast. I am gonna go ahead and close out this spend the weekend with me vlog. I really do appreciate you taking some time so that I could share my life with you. Let me know down in the comments below was anything cool, interesting to you? Do you wanna talk about anything? I'm really looking to Make a cool community here with some cool people who like to hang out and talk about the same stuff. I don't really use too many tags or anything like that, so I feel like if you find this video that, um, yeah, we can kind of hang out and vibe together. So thanks for spending the weekend with me. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. It does help me out. Go ahead and check out my channel so you can consider subscribing and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.